Ah, the missing pieces of the puzzle. This is what a print from Staples looks like. Not bad, not bad. Definitely isn't, um, buy my prints kind of thing. It's just on regular paper, but it feels good. This must be a, if this is a laser print, then this is decent because the laser printers suck <laughs> for printing art and stuff, but this is good. Should be 10 pieces here. And that's, I think this is it. I think this is all I need to make my paint by number kits. I don't know why it took me so long. I think I was um, interested during the process of trying to figure out how it would work to choose an image that would be appealing to people who like doing paint by numbers and watercolor in general. So like starting with something kind of landscapey, trying to come up with a line art for it and then a process of painting, like describing how I do something is easy to do in a video but a lot of people won't be able to use the video so i also had to write the instructions in word form which made me really nervous and so i put that off for the longest time but the color images sample of what the final image is going to look like and i can't print color pictures here so i had to find a place to do it and i've been meaning to try out staples, but I've always been just too nervous. There are entire subreddits of people venting about people who use self-serve stations because apparently it's not <laughs> really user-friendly in some way. I was just nervous about walking in there alone and trying to figure out how to do this. So I ended up doing it online, which, um, which was fine. And I went to pick it up and I took my bicycle so I can get exercise. And that's it. So now I got the cover paper, the written instructions, the paints ready, the paintbrush. And this kit includes um, the line art hand drawn by me <laughs> in pencil on the watercolor paper because I can't, I can't think of any other way to do it. And I was going to tape that onto a board to keep it flat. Right now I'm using foam core, which I'm sure like a lot of people might have issue with because it's bone core like it's not a recyclable product in any way as far as I know I would feel better if I had stuck it onto like book board or something but I just I don't have any book board right now and that's like a trip to another city kind of task I only made three three line drawings and let me tell you transferring and then outlining this painting multiple times is very tedious. I mean, if I was like a big a YouTuber or artist or something with somebody with like a big, huge audience of people, I feel like this would be a disaster, but it's not. So I just made three. Three is a good number to start with. Didn't realize that my um, little cellophane bags wouldn't fit, so I found these ones in my prints area. So I got the wrapped palette, paintbrush in there, cat, and yeah, that's what it looks like. finally found a really good use for these, um, I don't remember what this is called. The Kurataki... whatever they're called. I bought these because everyone was buying them and it's very contagious to just buy art supplies. And I learned really quickly that I really just like to stick to one thing. Maybe I'm just a little bit minimalist, I don't know, but um, it really came in handy because in this month's Patreon, I've been working in this 
storybook or play or something. But I start with an off-white gesso to cover up the words just a little bit and give me a surface that I can actually work on. But I've noticed that... I need an example. Let's say this one. So I was probably using Cora watercolor for this. And I like this page a little bit less. It sits on the surface because it's not watercolor paper, but it looks really neat. But this looks super dull compared to the first one I did, which is my favorite one, which is this. Um, and I did this with the Kurataki. And I've noticed that it's way different because like the finish is different. And you notice how glossy it is? I do remember reading that the Kurataki watercolors are more almost gouache-like product. <laughs> Maybe I just sound kind of silly not knowing. It has this really beautiful effect on gesso. Whereas the watercolor, it's very dull, but this is particularly, particularly nice surface for the Kurataki's. <sighs> so if you are a $10 tier patron, one of you is probably going to get this page. And like, ooh, don't be jealous, you know? I, I don't know. Somebody's going to get a flatfish. <laughs> because I try to give away my favorite, my best ones. So um, I also did a draw this in your style because I find that taking part in community challenges and art events and stuff um, gets you way more engagement compared to just posting and running, you know? Like, that's something that I did for many, many years. I would just post my art somewhere and think I was done. But unless you are talking directly to somebody, nobody will see it. So you do, like, hashtag art share or hashtag draw this in your style. I thought this one was really cute, so I just wanted to do this one. And this got, like, three times the engagement that any of my other posts get on Instagram. Not so much on Twitter, but Instagram is pretty good for hashtags. If you want to have your stuff seen a little bit more, definitely do more community events where lots of people are using the same hashtag and looking at stuff, right? Anyway, it's Saturday. I'm gonna do the last little Patreon stuff. Oh, it's Sunday. <laughs> It's Sunday, I'm gonna do the last Patreon stuff, and then maybe draw some pets on Reddit. And then I guess that's it. I'm completely out of ideas, marketing ideas, business ideas. I feel completely drained. <laughs> Take care, guys.